Hi everybody, it's Chris, and we're back. We're going to create this login.blade.php form. So let's go on to here and create the file itself. So let's say new file. So control shift S and save it as login.blade.php. Okay, so we've got that saved. Now we're just going to say uh, there with class of row. Then I span 4. And we're going to offset it. Uh, by one. Next, we're going to have another div with a class of well. So, well. Inside here, we're going to have a legend. And that can be on one line. Don't need to be two lines. Waste space here. We'll just say please log in. Next, we'll go to form open. So, form, open, array, and in that array we're going to throw in the URL to where we're going to post this to, so it's going to be login, so we're just going to post it to the route. Next we're going to handle any errors that we get when we do this form, so we're going to say at if, and it's going to be errors any. If there are any errors, we're going to return a div with a class of alert and alert error. So alert dot alert error. And that is going to contain a hyperlink with a class of close dot close. We'll just leave this as we can leave it empty, but this one we have to have data dismiss. And that's going to equal close. Actually Sorry, that's going to equal alert. I had myself here. Next, we're just going to use the HTML um, shortcut, or whatever you want to call it for times. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but we'll see what it does. Just say times. After that, we're just going to return the blade tag and just say implode. We're not going to use any glue, so we don't need this. And our pieces, we're going to say errors, all. And inside here, we're going to say, let's have a list item. So list item with a class of error. Close that off. Our error message will go here and close our list item. And boom, we're done with that. So that ends that. We can go ahead and end if. And end if. And now we can continue on, continue on with our form. I still lot, see a lot of people wanting to do it this way. And if you're doing it this way and that's what you're used to, then fine. I will never go back to using that as long as I'm using Laravel. I will use the uh, form builder code and blade templating. So I'm going to say text. I'm going to say um, we're going to say email. So email. This is going to be the value of the email text box, which is we're going to leave blank, so nothing. And we wouldn't even have to use that, but we're going to use a placeholder for HTML5 placeholders. So I'm going to say place. Mm, yeah, placeholder. And the placeholder is going to be email. Next, we're going to have a form password. Its value is going to be password. And the name is going to be password, rather. And it has no value, so we're just going to add the array for the placeholder. And we're going to say, probably should have said span 3. No, I ain't worried about it. Uh, we'll get by that. We'll just say, we'll just add a break after this. And we'll add one after this. And that'll be good. Next, we're going to have a submit button. So, form submit. And it's just going to say login. And capitalize that. And we're going to add a class to that because we're going to use the buttons. 
so class equals button button success and I don't need three of these so we can get rid of one of these we'll definitely get an error there next we're going to have a button it's not really going to be a button, it's going to be an HTML link, but we're going to give it a button class. And this is going to be to register. So, register. And array. You have the class. Class will be button. And button primary. Okay, now we can go ahead and close the form. So, form close and we're done with that now all we need to do is add our things for blades so we have at extends master I believe since it's not in anything else at section content And then we'll add at stop at the bottom. So at stop. Next, we need to add this into the route. So we'll just go into. We're going to go ahead and put these in the controllers, but we're not right now. So route get login function. Let's say return view make. And this one's home.register, so home that actually home.login, sorry. Home.login. Was it? Yeah, one login. So I get so caught up sometimes I forget what exactly I've done. Get ahead of myself, I guess. So save that, go out, refresh, probably get an error. Nope, we didn't. So Here's our form. Here's our little buttons. Here we have this. And next, in the next video, we'll go ahead and create the registration form. And I'll see you then.